Well, today the ministers have been discussing, as you rightly mentioned, uh, the energy crisis in this country. Uh, Germany has been the largest of all EU members uh, importing Russian gas, so it's of the utmost importance, uh, of course, here. So they've been discussing energy prices, they've been discussing supply security, as well as a stress test on those two remaining nuclear plants that you mentioned here in the south of the country, which they are going to keep open, extend the operation of until mid-April uh, to keep that security uh, in place just in case uh, they do need them. What we know is that Bavaria's economy minister, uh, Hubert Iwanger, did present a 10-point uh, policy plan to the ministers earlier on today in which he said the federal government is missing too many opportunities to get the current energy crisis under control. The points that he brought forward included exploiting biogas potential as well as creating planning security uh, for these nuclear power plants through to 2025 as well as enabling companies to switch fuels uh, as well expanding nationwide hydrogen infrastructure. Now there's a big push here in Bavaria in that regard and as well reducing electricity prices quickly and unbureaucratically. Uh, Chancellor Schultz, Olaf Schultz of Germany will be meeting again with the 16 uh, ministers of uh, each uh, state, federal state here in Germany on the 28th in which these points will be further discussed as well as the recently announced 65 billion US dollar uh, relief package for households and, uh, and well, consumers consumers in general, businesses as well. And another sign that companies are feeling the pinch here, Natalie German, energy giant Uniper, warning the government that it may have to take a controlling stake in its business. Yes, Uniper is the largest uh, importer of Russian gas in Germany. So you can just imagine how badly they've been affected by all of this. They did say on Wednesday that the government might take a controlling stake in the company in order to save the energy sector. Uh, that stake could be as high as 88 percent, according to some reports. Uh, since Moscow slashed their exports to Germany and the European Union, Uniper has basically been burning through uh, their reserves in an effort to try to find and source alternative um, sources for the energy supplies. Back in July, Berlin did agree uh, to a rescue package for Juniper, which has grown to upwards of 19 uh, billion uh, U.S. dollars. But Juniper is now saying that's just simply not enough. In a statement, uh, the company said the parties are looking into alternative solutions, um, including a straight equity increase that would result in a significant majority participation by the German government. No decision uh, in that matter uh, has been taken so far, and we've had no word yet from the federal government in that as well.